Okay, now, before I bring up our next speaker to talk about a topic that I love the most, I'm going to see if you can figure it out. Fortune is in. That's right. So let's get on our feet and welcome to the stage, Misha Wilson. All right, guys, before I dive in, who wants to make some more sales via the Profit Boosting Boot Camp? Yeah? Who thinks it would be cool for me to be able to speak directly to people in the Profit Boosting Boot Camp from stage? Yeah? <clears throat> All right, so if I can get my voice together here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, record what's going to be a video. And then when I bring you guys in and ask you a question, you're going to go ahead and respond with however you feel fit. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Get my thoughts together. We're going to do two of these. So the first one, you'll see. All right. We good in the back? No, in the back? Okay, cool. All right. Where am I looking? Where's the camera? Up here? Okay, cool. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Misha Wilson here, and congratulations on going ahead and completing phase one of the Profit Boosting Boot Camp. Now, it might not seem like much to you, but you'd be surprised that under 50% of people who actually get started with us here at the Super Affiliate Network and pull out their credit card and actually join end up going ahead and getting as far as you have right now within this actual process. So I can tell you you're truly dedicated to your dreams. I can tell that you're truly dedicated to turning your dream reality and your future into a reality. And uh, I just want to take a second and go ahead and commend you on getting this far and to let you know that it's only going to get better and to uh, go ahead and encourage you to keep going, keep pushing forward, and I will see you in phase two and three of the Profit Boosting Boot Camp. Do you think they should keep going? Yeah! yeah there we go. Should they, get, should they get to the next live event? Yeah! There we go. All right, there's one. Now let's do the same thing for phase two. All right? <laughs> This will help you make more sales with our follow-up process. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Misha Wilson here, and I just want to take a minute before we go ahead and dive into phase three of the Profit Boosting Boot Camp to go ahead and congratulate you on completing the first two phases of the Profit Boosting Boot Camp. Again, it might not seem like that much to you, but actually under 25% of people are actually as committed to going ahead and completing their training like you are and again, only a very, 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 very small percentage of people actually make it as far as you have, and even a smaller percentage of people actually make it through until the very end and complete the entire Profit Boosting Boot Camp. So the first thing I wanted to go ahead and let you know is just amazing job. I can tell once again that you're truly committed to going ahead and turning your dreams into a reality. And secondly, I wanted to go ahead and let you know that we have a special surprise bonus for you when you go ahead and get to the very end of the Profit Boosting Boot Camp. So make sure that you don't stop now. Keep growing strong. I appreciate you immensely, and I will see you on the other side. Should they keep going strong? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, we got some cool new videos for the Profit Boosting Boot Camp. Let me get a quick drink of water. And we're going to talk about how the Super Affiliate Network's done-for-you system quickly and easily converts your leads into big, high-ticket commissions on the back end and repeat customers for you as an affiliate. Now, also, we're just going to talk about general follow-up. So what we talk about here can be applied to your own marketing with any other product, your own information marketing business, and again, these are general strategies that will work beyond just the Super Affiliate Network itself, all right? So does that sound good? Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. So the big four mediums that we use in order to convert our leads into sales 
are firstly, email marketing. Secondly, live and automated webinars. Who here has been on my live or automated webinars? Third, phone follow-up. And fourth, live events. All right, and this is what we're gonna touch on here, the benefits of each and how to go ahead and implement what we're, each of these four and some of the big mistakes that I see some people make. So firstly, I wanna talk about email marketing, email marketing mastery and why email is still king, all right? So I love Kate McShay, I love social media. Kate McShay did an awesome job and uh, this event going as smoothly as you know it is is a byproduct of Kate giving us awesome mentorship and again, just adding an amazing amount of value to us and our business, right? And I love social media, but I also love email and love, again, just being able to tap in and leverage the power of building your own personal email list, right? So I wanted to go ahead and share with you a couple of different case studies. So this is from Mail Munch, and they went ahead and essentially measured the effectiveness of email versus social on a couple of different platforms. So this is actually in the bottom of the actual document, but it says, in other words, if you have 2,000 email subscribers, 2,000 Facebook friends, and 2,000 followers on Twitter, this is what you'll get. 435 people will open your email when you send them an email. 120 Facebook fans will see your Facebook message when you go ahead and post on Facebook. And 40 people on Twitter will see your message who are going ahead and following you, all right? So if you know what you're doing, you get significantly higher response with email. Again, if you know what you're doing. Now this is in the context of conversion, all right? Because at the end of the day, the only thing that really matters is you making sales with your marketing. So they're talking about higher conversion rates and it says email marketing drives more conversion than any other marketing channel, including social media and search. According to another report, 66% of all online consumers made a purchase as a result of an email marketing message. So what I want you to understand here is again, social media is a tool to leverage. And again, we have an amazing you know, group of rock star top earners and they all leverage social media. Don't stop using social media by any stretch of the imagination. But again, how I look at it is that email is where you're most likely to get someone to pull out their credit card and buy with you. Social media is more of the party where you can build a relationship with them, all right? So I look at social media as a relationship building medium and I look at email as the medium that I can actually make a sale through. Does that make sense? All right.